Hi there, it's uh, uh, Tuesday the 6th of August and uh, this is the Fort Diary um, update. There's been a uh, few studio shoots since uh, last video. They're covering off uh, scenes uh, 16 and uh, 19 and uh, some of 21 as well. So uh, we've done a fair bit in the studio. The, the weather turned um, yeah, yeah, we had all those um, nice sort of summer days, uh, sort of week or so back, and um, because it, the weather didn't look that great initially, the time was booked in the studio, so uh, so we went for that anyway. You know, it certainly got a bit of warm um, in there, uh, but we got some great stuff, got a lot done. Another studio shoots uh, provisionally booked a uh, week on Sunday. And I'm in the throes of just finalising arrangements for uh, some of the main outdoor um, shooting that will um, hopefully take place in September, um, possibly beginning of October. Uh, we'll see. But uh, just sorting that out at the moment. And they're, they're quite big scenes. There's uh, three, four, and five um, altogether. So. Anyway, so that's all. Um, that's all go. Um, uh, Andrew Joshi's in Sweeney at the Curve at the moment. Uh, uh, Andrew, um, he plays um, my, my uh, snipe character, uh, Cole. Um, so he's busy uh, until the 11th uh, anyway. And I hope to see Sweeney uh, on Thursday evening. Uh, looking forward to that. So there's there's a lot going on, and just to give you some idea, you know, you know apart from people's work, you know, that there's so their day jobs, they're also doing some um, uh, acting elsewhere. Uh, Jordan Hanford, uh, he's got the lead role in The Crucible, for example, and that, that's coming up later this year. So you know he's gonna he's gonna be a, uh, a busy bee, um, but we can still fit around things. And the way I wrote the script actually was was so that. And, and indeed, the way I've, I've created the shot list was so that you could handle it, uh, handle the shots without necessarily having, you know, even if there's dialogue with both actors there and, and that sort of thing. I mean, I'll, I'll talk more about that another time. Um, anyway, so so uh, that's where we are. It's all go. It's all good. And um, there'll be some uh, um, sort of bigger news uh, very soon. Uh, and then just to end, I just thought I'd uh, clarify just a couple of things about when you're using um, uh, weapons on set and, and, and indeed stuff that I've learned from reenactors and, uh, uh, and other uh, filmmakers. So um, I've got here some, well certainly what looks like two uh, Mauser K98s. Uh, this, this is this uh, is an original one from 1944 so and it just bolts and you can get it and you can click it um, and pull the trigger so that that's, these sights come up as well and you can um, move the safety catch so so that, that's a real one it's pretty uh, pretty heavy and uh, the importance about that um, that's the uh, what's called the Yugo one the Yugoslavian one what's important about that is I always carry around whenever I'm on set is a uh, certificate of deactivation um, you, you must always have this with you and um, uh, you know when you when you when you've got these um, uh, deactivated weapons um, you know, it looks real, looks like it could fire, and certainly there are people, you know, with live firing K98 at gun, at gun clubs and stuff, so, you know, it could be, but, um, you know, the, 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 uh, it's, it's all um, basically filled up, you, you couldn't put a, uh, a round in there anyway, and um, the barrel's all filled and etc. So, um, uh, but the, this one here is uh, actually the resin version. So it looks pretty much the same. I know if you go close up, you'll, you'll see a few, you know, there's a bit of wear actually on the end of that barrel. But, uh, but from, certainly from a medium or long distance, it's, it's difficult really to, to see that there's a, a great deal of difference. I know the sling's done slightly, that's a sort of, I think that's like an on parade type uh, sling arrangement, but um, this is a bit looser. But, but um, the idea being, uh, without any spoilers, um, that, uh, it's, it's a bit easier to, to for the actor to move about uh, and drop. Uh, that's the key thing. I don't, I don't want uh, the the the, um, the DIAC, uh, being dropped on the ground. So um, you know, if, when and if we need to show that, um, we can use the resin version. 
and uh, it actually wasn't that easy to, to track down, but um, managed to get it. Uh, but anyway, so uh, I, I had multiple copies of uh, the DX certificates. Uh, I, I always keep them in the car and uh, uh, always keep them with the weapons. And um, in the case of a pistol that I've got, uh, someone else has got the original certificates and I've got copies. So you've all, you, you, you definitely got to have all that sort of admin bits. And those are kind of little details that can often be forgotten. There's other things when you've got pyro and stuff like that. So, you know, you've got to um, make sure your paperwork's in order or else... Um, uh, yeah, you know, you're driving along, get stopped, and you've got a boot full of guns. Um, you better have the right paperwork to go with it, or, or you'll get some grief, uh, and quite rightly so. So, um, anyway, just thought I'd uh, fill you in on that, that, uh, that little uh, paperwork uh, point. Uh, I shall uh, now get back to a bit of shot list planning, and um, uh, yeah, and uh, another video soon. Thanks for watching.